I can't believe we got to do this again. Another Ben Simmons run. Welcome to another episode of Risa vs. Mutsua Sports Talk. If you haven't listened to our first Ben Simmons run, go check that one out. But we're about to do another one, and you're in for a treat. Ben Simmons, the audacity of this individual to not show up to the Philadelphia 76ers training camp. Why? Why are you not showing up? You want to be traded? You're not good enough to be traded. Who's going to take you? No one. Come on, man. You got to shoot the ball. You're with a once-in-a-generation player of ben, of uh, Joel Embiid. You, can, you should win the championship, I think. It, or you should at least be in the finals of the Eastern Conference Finals. How are you not getting there? Why are you not shooting the ball? Shoot the ball, Ben Simmons. Don't demand a trade. You're in a position to demand a trade. Shoot the ball. What's wrong with you? Not showing up to training camp? Show up to that training camp. Maybe in training camp you'll get some shots in. So you won't be so afraid to shoot the ball. Shoot it. Yeah, I heard the news today too that he's not showing up to training camp. I don't know why. Well, we know why because he wants to get traded. I don't think he has a right to even ask for a trade. He hasn't given the Philadelphia 76ers fans anything. They've been waiting on the championship. They've been waiting on success. They haven't gotten it. Mainly due to Ben Simmons. He cannot shoot the ball. It's not even he can't shoot the ball. He doesn't even attempt a shot. And then he's out here in these pickup games in practice. Dominating everyone. Hitting fadeaway threes. Step back threes. Contested threes. Deep threes. But when it comes to the game. The actual game when it counts. And not these pickup games against these uh, other players. Which that doesn't count at all. He doesn't even attempt a three. How can you hit threes in practice and pick up games, but not even attempt a three in the actual game where it counts? He's breaking Joel Embiid's back. Joel Embiid's knees are going because of him. Joel Embiid has to pick up all the slack. Like he has to do more than what he's what he should be asked for. Joel Embiid's a, like once in a lifetime player. He can be just as dominant as Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest players of all time. But Ben Simmons holding him back. You know what I mean? Shaq had Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. Shaq is also an amazing player. Let's not get that wrong. But he didn't have to carry Ben Simmons. Like, you know, Ben Simmons doesn't open up the space for anyone. Open up the floor for anyone. But... Hold on, let's cut you off. Let, 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 let me add something to this. I'm going to praise Ben Simmons a little bit. Also two elite defenders in Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. You're telling me this team can't win? Take the shot! How is how is Joel Embiid taking more threes than you? Everyone in the NBA is taking more threes than this guy. Now he doesn't even take mid range. <laughs> he soon is gonna stop taking layups too. But I do think, cause I know you don't think he can benefit any team. Do you think he can benefit any team? No, not at all. I think I think he needs to fix his problem. Like I said, if you listen to the other podcast, I think he needs a sports psychologist. I don't know what he has a fear of shooting the ball for. But he needs to sit down and talk to somebody. I don't think he's going to benefit other team. I think he's a perfect fit for the Philadelphia 76ers. That's what, that's what I truly believe. And I thought, honestly, they I, I don't know if they would have won the championship. But I thought they would probably make it to the finals already. Or at least the Eastern Conference Finals. You know? Well, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Like, and We're not hitting at Ben Simmons as an individual. As a human being. Got nothing against him. It just has, as what we're watching him playing basketball. Which I think everyone agrees with. But I do think he can benefit another team. But the only two teams I think he can benefit, he's got to go on a stacked superstar team that has great three-point shooting because he can be a, he's an amazing passer. He, he can pass the ball with the best of them. I think the two teams he can join and really make a difference, my number one option would be Golden State. I think he can play the role of Draymond Green. Get Steph Curry, the two greatest three-point shooters maybe of all time, the ball. He can assist them because he's a great passer, elite defender. And he can really help out Golden State by give, uh, spacing. Um, he can run out and... No, I'm going to have to stop you right there. I'm going to have to disagree with that. Listen to finish. me. Hold on. No, 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 listen to me. What he's going to do is he's going to crowd the floor. No, he's... Even gonna... Draymond Green, as you brought up, takes a shot. Yeah, but he's, he might crowd the floor, but he can get them the ball. He, he's very, very quick. So off the rebound, he's a big point guard. Off the rebound, he can go and... Steph Curry, he can go and hit the ball to one of the corner threes, whoever it may be. Maybe Clay Thompson, maybe Steph Curry, maybe someone else. And um, he's a tall, tall player, so he can see over the defense when he makes those passes. And my other point I was going to get across, the other team that he could benefit is Brooklyn Nets. 
I think about every nah, Brooklyn Nets. K- KD, KD don't want that trash on his team. <laughs> KD don't want that. You, you, Brooklyn Nets need nobody. Brooklyn Nets don't need anybody. Nobody. Just like the Lakers don't need anybody right now. Those teams don't need anybody. If they can't win with these players that they have, then I don't know what's wrong. Maybe they need a season or two to get together and, and, and find each other's rhythm. But that's about it. There's no no way he's going to benefit Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, because, no. uh, because look, I'm assuming they're not getting rid of the players. I know that's almost impossible because yeah, they're going to ask course. for players. Yeah, of course. But like, I don't know. You're saying free agency, let's just say. Let's just yeah, give yeah. a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because he can... Um, they got Kyrie can shoot threes, Durant can shoot threes, James Harden can shoot threes. Stacked all around. They a very athletic player in Ben Simmons can see over the defense because he's tall. Can get rebounds. Can play defense. Can hook up his teammates. Can really help them out. But I don't think he can help up the Lakers, like as you brought up, because they don't have that type of three point shooting. Yeah, yeah this is just gonna crowd the floor for them. But Ben Simmons needs to work on his game. Just not show us in pickup games and practices. He's got to show it in real life and be a get basketball. You know what? Like, like I'm saying, I think he's gonna he is gonna crowd up the floor. I um I I kind of do agree with you. Yeah, sure. With great three point shooters, elite three point shooters around him, he can make a lot of good plays. He, like you said, he is big. He is strong. Um, he he he's very athletic. He can see over the players. I get all that. I think he needs to just stay with the 76ers. Because I believe he can win with this team. I I do believe that he he sure he might be a better fit somewhere else. But I think this is the this is the where he needs to play. He can win with this team. Why leave? He can do what Jean is it. Stay with the Milwaukee Bucks and win the championship. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Are you comparing? No, no, uh, I'm not. I'm not. No, no. Let's not get it twisted now. Yeah. I'm not comparing him to Jean. Jean is way better. But what I'm saying is he can do it. Even Giannis takes threes now. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah but he didn't better. start off with it. He learned. He got better. Yeah, he's not. He developed bro- his game. He's not attempting threes, so he can't get any better if he doesn't yeah. attempt them. But so I think instead of getting going to a stack team that has three point shooters, you're not working on your problem. The problem is you're not shooting threes. You're not shooting threes. Now maybe he could benefit from Golden State because of Steve Kerr. Yeah, but I thought you were, he's not going to be a benefit to any team. No, no, that. I'm saying he might benefit from Steve Kerr. The mentality that Steve Kerr brings, the freedom that he allows his players to play with. But I think what he needs to do is stay with the 76ers. He's a great fit for the Philadelphia 76ers. All he needs to do is take the three. He needs to, I guess, work on his game so he's confident enough to take the three. Um, other than that, we got nothing against Ben Simmons. Just calling out his play. And I think all you guys can agree. Um, I guess we're going to end it for today. Ben Simmons, please work on your game. Don't break Joel Embiid's knees and back again. He can't take it anymore. Let Joel Embiid play his game. You guys can be a dynamic duo. You guys can be the next dynamic duo and dominate the league. If you... If you Um, start hitting your shots so that's it for our episode today hope you guys enjoyed it thank you take care stay safe stay healthy this has been sports talk from two canucks up north eh